What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. We are going to be taking a look at the new hero, Moloch, who is in Doom Legion. And I've got to say, right before we get into the video, I'm actually excited for this hero to see what can be done with him. I'll explain why in a moment. Um, but for now, we're going to go through his skills and then we'll have a look at him in battle. Don't forget using Karzak on your Aptoid promo code. You can save an extra 5% on top of your purchases and support me and my channel as well. So thank you for all of you who do that, uh, saving yourself some extra money and also supporting me in the same period. Um, you can save up to 25% on your purchases if you don't know how to use Aptoid. It's all in the link in the description below on how to install it. It's all pretty easy. Um, I know some of you are like, well, I can't be bothered, but it's saving you money. Okay, it's saving you money, so it's worth it. Um, even if you're using someone else's code, you know, whoever you want to support, support them. Uh, so let's talk about Moloch um, and why he is actually looking like such a great hero. Um, he is a burn hero. Um, so we'll just talk about it. A scorching combo deals two stages of 100% attack damage to a single enemy. Each stage inflicts 100% attack burn damage. This does increase, as you can see. Um, so it'll do attack damage and then attack burn damage. Falling Meteor summons five Meteors which prioritize attacking different enemies. Uh, what this means is obviously if you have five enemies, it's going to attack one each. Um, if there's only one enemy, it's going to hit that one enemy five times. Yeah, see? Uh, each Meteor deals 100% attack damage and inflicts 100% attack burn damage. So effectively, you know, if you're doing it against one enemy five times, that's a thousand percent damage, right? So 100% attack and 100% attack burn damage. Um, we'll go through the exclusives in a moment. I don't want to go into it just yet. Don't forget, Shattered Meteor does increase burn damage taken. That is, um, I believe, I believe it's an E3 kind of thing. Or it might not be. It might be there anyway, actually. Um, E3 it just launches maybe it's not okay I'll, I'll have a look in a moment um, passive skill Moloch gains one layer of five or meteor at the beginning of his turn when an ally deals detonation damage there's a 60% chance to get one meteor shard uh, this chance is not affected by affected or effect resistance every five meteor shards will can be converted into one layer of fireball meteor when Moloch has four layers of fireball meteor he'll consume all of them to cast falling meteor for once now, wait a minute. Converted into one layer. Every five meteor shards we converted into one layer of fireball meteor. The Moloch has four layers of fireball meteor. He'll consume all of them to cast full of meteor. Okay. Okay. Um but we'll we'll go into that as well. It just does increase look minus one meteor shard needed to get a fireball meteor and then so there's two less to get that. Uh, we'll go for the exclusives, like I said. Orb impact increases all allies' attack by 40% for two turns, that's massive. Afterward deals 100% attack damage to all enemies and inflicts extra destination damage for once, dealing 200% attack damage at least. The lower the target's health percentage, the higher the extra damage, up to 300% attack damage when their health is below 30%. He also inflicts deep burn too, don't forget that's huge. Uh, increasing burn damage is hit by 50%. Um, so, let's have a little look here as it's supposed to. So, level 1, 100% chance to inflict deep burn 2 for 2 turns after orb impact deals damage. Also, if the survived enemies are no more than 3 after orb impact is cast, reduces orb's impact cooldown by 1 turn, which is quite nice. Level 2, reduces layers of fireball meteor needed by meteor shower to cast falling meteor to 3 layers. Also, a Moloch has 2 layers of fireball meteor, grants self damage immunity and control immunity. That is massive. That is absolutely massive um it would be you know that can't the only way to bypass that is to strip it um however if they have block buff removal that's an issue for anyone that's an issue for anyone as well because he's going to be launching attacks uh the effects mentioned above can only be triggered once after falling meteor is cast due to meteor shower each time level three each meteor summoned by falling meteor inflicts one layer of shattered meteor on the target for two turns up to three layers each of which increases their burn damage taken by 15 percent during a single cast of falling meteor the burn damage dealt by the third and the following meteors to the same target is considered as destination damage meaning he will get those meteors in return okay let's have a little look at him okay i did play about him a bit in arena and we did find some pretty fun some pretty fun stuff 
Um, I did have a lineup, I'm pretty sure, yeah, here. Now, as you can see, I've, I've brought in Focas and Besiedon. Now, I'll show you why. I'll show you why. Um, I'm not too bothered about the stats right now, but I'll, I'll just show you the stats. I'm not too worried about the damage and more his, his utility, how he's used, okay? It's all right seeing a hero do boom, this, that, this, and that, and that, and that, and that, and this. Um, but the utility of seeing how he actually works is impressive. Um, so his stats, are, he's 2,000 speed, his mastery is 150%, his attack is 35,000, and I've done that for the same for everyone else. Um, wait, I didn't do it for Arna. Her mastery is at 37%. Why has that not changed that? Why has that only done that for him? Okay, that doesn't matter. That's fine. That, that doesn't matter at all. Uh, but his is 150% and 35k attack. So we'll launch his ultimate at the moment. Now his ultimate orb impact, obviously, he's buffed everyone's um, attack. And he's done damage along with Deep Burn 2. Um, he's got another turn here. That's because his speed is 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 a bit faster than everyone else's. He's at 2,000 speed. Uh, 2,800 speed for whatever reason. I did not put him at that. And why? Oh, his attack's buffed. He hasn't got speed increase. But protected by the wind, increased his speed. He gets that from um, Agrades. But everyone else has 1,035. So he'll get another nuke. So this is his Meteor Shower. I think that's what it's called. No, Falling Meteor. So this one will come in. Burn damage is increased at the moment, and that hits one enemy each. But now you can see he's got two, two meteor meteors here, whatever the how they are. Uh, he's got control immunity and damage immunity on. But if we now use someone to detonate the damage, this the way we can build up the the meteors on Moloch is by detonation. So like Ockman, um Anyone that does detonation damage, even Eric, for goodness sake, uh, Little Jack as well. Little Jack does detonate, I believe. I think Little Jack detonates. Um, so this one on O'Grady's does detonate, I believe, or it, you know, it, it triggers the bum, so it will count. So if we watch his shards now, we've triggered it, and now we've triggered Moloch to attack again, to attack again, like really crazy. Now I could either go ahead. And buff Moloch. He still has damage immunity and control immunity, by the way. Um, I could go ahead and buff him, but let's just say let's buff O'Grady's again. Let's get O'Grady's in on her triggering that that burn again. And he's gained another two shards, meaning if we trigger this with Arna, he's now got five fireball meteors. He's gonna launch again. He's gonna launch again. Now we have Besiedon there, we can go, okay, well. Arna still does have a trigger left in her. There is still some enemies up with burn here. So let's let's give Arna another go. Let's buff our attack again. Let's trigger these burns. See if we can get Moloch to hit again. He's at two. So he's one away. He's still control immune. He's still damage immune as well. Um, it's just it just feels so nice. And I'm not saying this is the t look, I mean look, he just gained a meteor from his turn. He's just nuked again. Like, who is going to survive this? Unless the enemy is completely immune to damage. Uh, with damage immunity, invincibility, massive shield. I don't even know if massive shields can do it. Because um, he's still doing attack damage as well as burn damage. Um, so you could say, well, if they have res, buff, block, whatever the hell that is. So they can't get any dots on them. Um, they're still going to be taking attack damage, don't forget. It's not just going to protect them from the burn damage. Uh, so that's also very interesting. Um, but, but PVE, how good is it going to be? I can see it being pretty damn good. I can see it. I can see him doing some pretty big damage, if I'm honest. If I'm honest, because we can trigger him to attack so many times against a boss with our burn heroes. But who will he replace is the question. Um, if you have the likes of O'Grady's, you're probably going to want to replace Arna. Probably going to want to replace Arna. That's because um, if you've got Andras, that is, and you've got Little Jack, because there's not going to be any space. It's tricky. It's tricky. I could definitely see him being very useful in Arena, though. I can see this, uh, especially especially Championship, the five teams. It, it should be very, very nice in that regard. Obviously, that one there doesn't trigger any, um, any but it doesn't detonate any burns on O'Grady's. 
So let's just refresh this. Let's just go, okay, well, you know, just to show you again how it works, you know, it's, it's just fantastic that we can trigger these. And uh, Moloch goes, hey, thanks for the meteors. Here, guys, have them. Um, <laughs> that's just crazy to me. Just insane to me. And I know that we can refresh the, the turns here. But that's just me showing you guys exactly what's going on. Um, it's not always going to be that way in battle, is it? You're not going to get to refresh that many times. But I would like to see Moloch as well used in a sustained team. The likes of um, Nordak, Lydia, Hengi Free, Marvel, uh, Ben Austin. You know, just because he, in a sustained team, we're not taking any damage as such. You know, unless the enemy is very strong and, and they're debuffing and they've got a great setup. But the fact is, if we do sustain, as long as Moloch is getting his turns, he's building up those meteor showers, and he can nuke. He can nuke. I mean, every time at the beginning of his of his turn, he gains one meteor. So as the battle progresses, it could be a way for you to beat those teams that are um, just so strong and sustain. You know, maybe we can do enough damage every time you see he's got a meteor there. So that is Moloch. That is Moloch. And, you know, I, I think he's impressive. I think he's impressive. You've got to remember as well is that these meteors will hit one enemy each. Um, and if it's one enemy, say in, in PvE, this is going to be a, a big amount of damage. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens. It'll be interesting to see who uses him and uh, what kind of tactics we get coming out. I will be pulling for Moloch, 100%. But remember as well, he's not an exclusive hero. So don't just go going, okay, well, I need to spend a ton on Miracle Wounds just to get him four times. Uh, you can use your legendary exclusives eyes on Moloch as well. And that's exactly what I'll be doing. I'll be putting my eyes into Moloch to test him out when I get him tomorrow. Um, I better get him tomorrow. I should get him. Out. What do I have? I, ha I have 201. Um, we're free legend away from the pity. Hopefully we get lucky like we did against Hengi 3, where we got one after another. Um, I'll only pull for the one, but I may have to go all the way to the final pity. Maybe that, maybe that way inclined. Um, but hopefully this has helped you decide if you want to pull for Moloch or not. Um, I think he's going to be very strongly rated. Uh, I really do. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's helped sway your mind in the right direction if you think you need him or you think you don't but the fact is is that we can really manipulate him and utilize him in battle with other burn heroes so i'll see all of you in the next video have a fantastic day even wherever you are goodbye